everybody, once again, Mandalorian, Mandalorian. This time it's a Mandalorian scene. That's right, a scene. They showed a full-on scene here from the show, setting up the tone. But, Ken, let's kind of start out what happens here. Carl Weathers' character um, is sitting down, kind of offering the Mandalorian a job. He gives him some coins. But right. tell me a little about walking through the market. What do we see? First of all, let's talk about your day four convoy. Uh, you're yeah. surviving. Um, uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, we get to, uh, this, this, I'll tell you, there's a... He walks through a marketplace, The Mandalorian, and he strolls through, and there was something that upset, it disturbed me, not saying upset like I'm mad. Uh, there's a Kowakian monkey lizard being roasted to death for dinner. And another one in a cage. And another one in a cage watching him. And it's so sad. As someone who raised rats as a kid, I, I just disturbed me. This was, it's, it's brutal in a fun way. That's how this starts. So you know when you're at a different world. You know right away, and I, and I said it in our in our uh, trailer review of this thing, that it is meant for the older crowd, and right away they're going to let you know, we're not pulling punches here, this is going to be a little darker, and it does that, but it also shows because it is a rougher time, even though it's five years after Return of the Jedi, not everything is grand, and the Mandalorian is there for a job, and they, and they reference that he's going to kind of be like a Clint Eastwood Western character, taking the gigs, doing what he's got to do, so he sits down with Carl Weathers, um, Carl Weathers offers him a cake, but then it jumps into another scene with another job. We right away get to see Warner Herzog, the famed director who we were so excited to see what he was doing and he's playing, uh, you know, a, a leftover Imperial, so he's got Imperial insignias on him but it's not an Imperial outfit. Got dirty, beat up stormtroopers around him. These are the guys who didn't get the ticket to get off the planet and out of the galaxy to the unknown regions of the First Order, so uh, it sets it up that the, the remnants are still around. And, and in the teaser trailer, Herzog had a great quote, his character had a great quote about, you know, the Empire brings control, bring, makes the systems better that it goes to, kind of saying, look, is this what you like? The the rebels won, and now it's more violent than before. And I, I like that as a theme, and that's that really came out here. Well, I like that also because it also showed a lot about the Mandalorian, where he walks in, he has this conversation or another attempted job with Warner Herzog, and then this like doctor or someone steps out of the room, and and right away the Mandalorian shows us he sticks the gun out, he sticks the blaster out, and then the stormtroopers pull their blasters, and he's they tell him to put it down, or the Mandalorian tells him to put their weapons down, and they go, we got you outnumbered four to one. He goes, I like those odds. And right away, you're just like, oh, that's the kind of character this guy is. And and then they sit down, they have the conversation. Like you said, Warner Herzog, as he does, stays cool, calm, and collected. But they were like Nazis on the run. Like old school, they're trying to figure out, like, how do we get back in power? And they're trying to figure that out. And they're hiring this guy, the Mandalorian, to do a job for him, bringing him, uh, the, like, a, they tell him. They say, you go out and you get the, pr the prize, the package. But it, you, if you kill him, it will pay you a little bit less. But we want him alive. Yeah, what's interesting about that, because it's not the normal thing. They can't give him a, his little chip or the pog or whatever they're saying that would have the information. It, like, they got we'll tell you, we'll tell you verbally, and Warner Herzog says something about, they give him a tracker, and we'll give you the last four digits of the code, and it's an old code, it's like 50 years old. So they're tracking someone from the past, and right away you're like, who's that? Is that Nick Nolte? I don't know, maybe it's just Nick Nolte. It's a great... Great call, um, but it also is going to, it shows, and it was something that Favreau and Filoni talked about on the panel itself, was that they're tying stuff into Clone Wars, they're tying stuff into Rebels, into Legends, so who knows where they're going to show up, but even if they show up, the, you know, the monkey, they show the stuff like that, but they show the IG droids, they're sh doing a lot for the hardcore fan, but it won't lose others. But this scene was great, man, and it ties into um, just how I think Evil Herzog and uh, Esposito are gonna be. Yeah, and I'll, I wanna make sure we get the, the, the music, uh, oh, yeah. uh, what's uh, work Five Days in a Con. Lars, uh, the Black Panther composer, uh, he, he's, he's the music right away is very Star Wars, but it's entirely different, and that's kind of what you're describing with the theme of the show and, and what they're showing us, too. It's funny you say that, because that music was playing, and what's, and what's the thing from uh, Jabba's Palace. Oh, do I don't know. Oh, the, the, the droid, there is it. I'm not, I'm retired from trivia competition. The ball droid that comes out and even, you know, w lets 3PO and R2 into Jabba's Palace. Yeah. Well, that happens with the Mandalorian. He goes in, but that's that music score that plays as he's walking through. Uh, I mean, I can't wait for this show. They said, they, these guys just told me, I didn't realize it, because kept asking, is it going to be a full dump and you're going to watch all of them, or is it going to be week to week? It seems like it's going to be the full dump. So I know what I'll be doing that uh, those two days. A full dump? A full dump while watching the movie. Or the show, and then I'll watch the show. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be exciting. You enough hot dogs, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so guys, thank you so much for joining us this weekend uh, Star Wars Celebration. I'm Christian Arloff. He's the dumper.